Hey there, Jeffrey here, Sephora Beauty Director, and I'm back at you with another challenge video. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. This one's called Numbers Pick My Eyeshadow. So I've picked a palette that I'm obsessed with, and I've put a whole bunch of shades in a random bag, and I'm gonna draw three numbers pick those shades and create a beautiful eyeshadow look out of it. Basically what I wanna show you is that you can wear any eyeshadow, no worries, and I'll show you exactly how I choose where to put color. Now I chose Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3 for several reasons. Check out this color spray. It's so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the way that they're laid out. I love how random they are. It's definitely kind of inspiring and you get to see really fun colors next to each other that you wouldn't necessarily usually see in most palettes that you're finding today. Now I also love that all of the shade names are named really simply like A1, B2, B4, Four, almost like a board game. This is definitely a palette that I think is really fun to play with on social media. You might try this challenge as well and tag us here at Sephora. Now let's try the palette. I'm ready to jump right in and pick those numbers. So the first number is B1. Now B1 is this beautiful shimmery turquoise here. Number two, ah, the anticipation, so excited. C5, which is this really pretty kind of emerald gold green here. Next one. Last one, last one. Wish me luck. B2. So we got two shades side by side. I think that that one's gonna serve as the perfect matte shade to kind of balance out all the shimmers that we've racked up. So to really showcase the vibrancy of the shadows, I definitely wanna use like a really bright, sticky base. So from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, this is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 100. So you can use it behind these shadows to give them an extra pop of neon glow, really making them really stand out and be vivid. That's what I'm going for here. So to apply this, I'm just gonna apply it gently over my entire entire lid, starting from the lash line and working my way out. Now, this is a pretty pigmented concealer, so it's gonna look really bright around my eyes. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not gonna need a lot of product for this. Now, I'm gonna blend it out with the Pro Precision Concealer Brush number 45. I like this brush because it's got wispy little fingers and it blends the product really easy. It's kind of long so I can really stretch the product out and blend really quickly. So I'm sort of pressing it in on the lid and then working my way out and around the eye. So I'm gonna take this and apply it here, again, just on the lid, sort of using the doe foot applicator gently to press the pigment right onto the actual physical lid, and then I'll blend that up through the socket line. So I get the most um, concentration of pigment right near the lash line. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you're blending your cream base, let your pinky fly. Gives you a really soft touch and get like a really beautiful soft focus blend. It just wisps the color on really easily. I love it like that. Once I feel like I have a really nice even base and the color is saturated across the entire lid, then I think I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to dip into my first shadow. I'm gonna use the number 41 drawing shadow brush to pick up shade B2. Like I said, I'm gonna start with the matte. Like I really wanna go there, build some dimension, I think that's always a good best practice is to start with your mats and then add shimmer because you want to add depth and then bring in the light. So I'm going to stamp that shadow right at the base of my eye and I'm going to be wrapping that color all the way around underneath the eye completely encasing it in color. And then this is going to go up here through the socket line gently. And you can see that I'm taking the tip of the brush and almost placing it right into my socket line and then taking it and rocking it back and forth until I build a little bit of dimension right along the actual mobile lid. And I like a little bit rounder of a shape when I'm doing lots of color because I feel like it's a little bit more approachable. When you start doing wings and cat eyes, you get a really graphic nature and then you also get a lot of color. So, you know, you have to be careful how you mix those two. Doing it round is a little bit safer. And I'm not saying don't try it with a cat eye because it looks pretty fierce, but you know, there's a the right time for everything. So tucking that in and using that brush like a pencil, 
building out the lid, building out the lid, building out the lid. Now, if you get some on the actual eyelid, don't worry. I'm actually, I am gonna go through and um, clean up the lid a little bit with a little bit more of the concealer. So just placing my shadow, and then I'm gonna go in and go ahead and blend just like I did on the previous eye. I mentioned that if it gets on the lid, don't worry because I'm gonna go back in with concealer. Now, by placing the brush right in the socket, the pigment really gathers in my socket and I create a beautiful crease. Now, for the next step, I definitely wanna go back in and clean the lid up a little bit. So I know a lot of you out there really love a cut crease. This is kind of similar, but I'm just gonna use it to sort of blend and open space right on the lid. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the concealer on my ring finger and then place it right on the ball of my lid, just like that, so I can start building out more light again. It's basically like kind of um, a little bit of a racing on the lid. My lids have a bit of a fold, so this sort of helps me sometimes from time to time when I want a little bit of like of an ombre effect. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other eye really quickly. So there you can see we've created a lot of light right on the center of the lid, and that's gonna be the place where we really amplify that shine and use our shimmer shades. So now I'm ready to go in with the second shade, which is shade C5. And again, it's this really pretty golden emerald green, and I'm gonna apply that with the number 15 shadow brush. Now I'm picking it up right on the brush, just like this. And then I'm gonna start right at the ball of my eye, just like what I did with the concealer, and press that shade right on. Wow, look at that. I'm here for this green. So pretty, <gasps> luxurious. So now as I'm pressing this shadow on, I'm noticing that my eyes have a tendency to water just a little bit, and sometimes I get this little empty space right out here. Stay tuned, I have a trick for that and kind of a way that I dodge it that a friend taught me a long time ago. I'll share it with you. So now I'm gonna take it on the second eye. So I'm just gonna press the pigment into that shape until I'm happy with the area that I filled. So now I'm ready for my third shade, but I'm gonna repeat the process one more time. I'm gonna go through with the concealer, apply where I wanna highlight, and then really attach that pigment so it's a beautiful, vibrant color. Now what's also really cool is using this technique, you can kind of isolate areas of your eye and start understanding the shape and almost the topography of your eye. Where is the depth, where is the highlight? And and this basically will help you to learn your eye shape and how to maximize it. I'm gonna apply the concealer just in the inner corners of my eye. Now this is signature Jeffrey, classic Jeff. And I'm gonna blend it right out with the number 18 small shadow brush. Now I can take that and soften the edges. Now I want this to be the most vibrant, so I'm really gonna leave that pigment there. I'm not gonna blend it too much. I can pull that up and into the tear duct there. So it's almost like a really vibrant point of light. Do you see the difference? So now I'm gonna go in and blend the other eye really quickly. You can see that it gives my eyes a little bit of separation. I like that for my particular eye because it's a little close set. Not too close, not too far. You wanna find your perfect balance. So that last shade, we're gonna go apply right over that inner corner just to give a, a punch of vibrancy and kind of play on that tropical feel. So now I'm taking that same number 18 brush and pressing that color right on the tear duct. And you can see it's like this really beautiful sort of aquamarine color. I'm really loving it. This is really fun. Like truly, I was, I was kind of really taking that butterfly inspiration as a jumping off point. I wanna create like this really organic sort of like butterfly shape on the eye and it's definitely hitting it. I think it's really nice. Kind of fun, a little editorial, but still wearable I think. So I'm gonna finish that up on the second eye. So once I feel like I've blended that enough, I'm ready to move on to the rest of the products for the eyes. So now that the colors are all really washy, I need to ground the look. Find a point of interest or focus. So I'm really gonna build up the lash line and make sure that my lashes look ultra black and really rich. So I wanna start with a tight line. I'll be using Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in the shade Blacker. This is one of my favorite eyeliners because it really glides into the tight line. So I'm gonna take my lid, tilt back, and gently push 
in on my eye. Now you'll notice that that flips my lash line open and I can take the pencil and color right in between the roots of the lashes. I want this line to be ultra dark so I'm really rocking it back and forth. Helps also the eyeliner to really grab and stay on the eye. Think of like all the pigment getting locked in between the roots of the lashes so it can't move and get out. So you can see here that this lash line is much more defined and it, it kind of showcases the shape of my eye. And then I'm also gonna take the black and really work in the lower lash line as well. I want a really dark focus right around my eye color so it makes it look really bright and creates a lot of contrast. Now I can say that I've tried every kind of eyeliner and this one is definitely tried and true. I love that it's super glidey. Like I can just literally like work it through the roots of the lashes. It's super pigmented and ultra black. I mean, black, black, black. And that's what we want for this look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat both steps on the other eye. Now I'm just gonna blend that just a little bit before it sets. Because it's a gel, you have a little bit of play time, which is also really nice. I'm going to take the brush and blend the lower lash line into that shadow so that way it's a little bit softer. And what winds up happening is that the shadow and the eyeliner actually start to mix together and sort of create like this new color that's really cool. And I'm also going to blend the top just a little bit. If there was any eyeliner that came through the lashes, I can create just a little bit of definition right down in the roots of the lashes, which is really nice. So they get like a little smoky backdrop. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side with the number 18 brush, taking the tips of the bristles and just rocking back and forth right along the black line. All right, so now back to the corner of the eye situation where we're losing our color a little bit. Look, I know it's not ideal, but sometimes when you're doing your makeup, you just kind of have to lean into what your body is doing. So what I like to do is to take a cotton bud and wrap it in a makeup removing wipe. And then you can literally just disconnect that line. And what winds up happening is it creates kind of like a fun graphic shape. And then also, like once we put the mascara in, it creates almost like a, a shadow effect in between the two lashes. So then you get like a really pretty like gap. It makes your eye look a little bit more open instead of closed. All right, so the last step is going to be to finish the look with a little mascara. And I guess I'm not going to say a little mascara because I'm going to go to town with this baby. This is from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it's called the Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Now I want one and done, so I'm going to use lift and curl in the same product, which I really love. And it's ultra black and I'm obsessed with the shape of the brush. It's really gonna hug all of my lashes and I can play around with it until they're nice and spiky in front of all of that color. I like to really target the little baby lashes on the outer corner by using the tip of the brush. Now this brush is really cool because it's flat on one side and round on the other. So I can like almost lay mascara with the flat side and then comb it out with the bristles on the other side so I can really get like a nice voluminous curly lifted lash. I'm obsessed with this mascara, it's really cool. Super black too. I really like this formula. Mm. It's almost like as I rotate the brush, I'm hitting different parts of the brush and it's slowly building up the lashes like in a gentle way, which I really dig. And I think I'm gonna move on to the lower lashes. I wanna create a little bit of balance. So I'm gonna do that really quickly on both eyes. All right, that was truly a fun challenge. Super excited to share that with you all. I'm obsessed with the way the look turned out. I'm calling this tropical butterfly realness. What do you think? If you love this look and you're definitely gonna give the Norvina palette a try, drop some butterfly emojis in the comment section below. Now, if you try this challenge, be sure to tag us at Sephora. And until next time, we'll see you later. Later. Ciao for now.